Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about Dooku. And if you don't know what Dooku is, it is the dark universe cinematic universe, which to me I always thought was like the dark universal cinematic universe. But like, I mean, it tends to be shortened to, I mean, Dooku, but also like the dark universe, which I initially thought was kind of like, because the first time I heard about this was from Funhouse, and I was like, oh, they're, they're, oh, they're just, they're making a damn joke. It's like, no, this is a serious thing. It's like, they brought it up again, talking about it, and then he also, I also heard it from Mega64 talking about it, and obviously, subsequently, I've looked it up and read articles and stuff about it. Uh, it's like, oh, wow, I thought that was a joke, but it's like, it's no, it's, it's uh, seriously a thing. Basically, it's universal basically doing its own MCU, you know, as well as the DCEU type of situation where they're basically taking a lot of the monster movies they have rights to and basically building an entire universe of monster movies and stuff like that. Like, obviously this is all being jump-started by the Mummy movie. So really all of this is determined by whether or not the Mummy movie does well or not. That would determine whether or not Universal decides to kind of go for it with any of this or not, which I mean immediately my I'm like super I'm hopeful like it's kind of interesting because I had a conversation about this recently more so it was about TV universes specifically like comic book universes how there's not too many things where I feel like universes are being built on TV so it's kind of interesting seeing this happening now in movies um, obviously like I mean obviously the format's already been set up by like, like once again like an MCU started this so I mean I'm, I'm like hopeful and interested to see what they uh, do with it like once again like i hope the mummy movies do it i'm a fan of the original three mummy movies i mean i say the original three but i mean i'm sure like the mummy existed before then but obviously like these were kind of you know the ones with brendan fraser john Hanna, and rachel wise i i know a lot of people aren't like that big of fans of the third one you know that had jet lee in it which and also um michelle yao i think so i might be mispronouncing her last name but um, it always kind of interested me that uh, Rachel Wise didn't come back, and it was if I remember correctly, it was actually Maria Bello who uh, replaced her. I mean, I, I never looked into it because I'm never like, uh, you know, it's like it's whatever, you know. So I'm never really looked too deeply into it. But that was always kind of an interesting thing to me. That, that's one thing that always sticks out in my head when I think about that movie. But nevertheless, you know, I'm kind of hoping that this movie works out because it seems very interesting. Um, I'm, I mean, really, at the end of the day, that determines like, you know, it depends on how many people actually go to the movie or not. But so even if it, I feel like even if it doesn't do well, as long as it makes like a crap ton of money, I think Universal would still kind of go through with it. I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting because I've see there's been photos going around i mean one specific photo is kind of showing their their cast for their uh dark universe that includes uh russell crowe like they're saying they're setting him up as uh dr jekyll mr high type of situation i've also i think it was funhouse specifically let's talk about like oh tom cruise is kind of being set up as van helsing i forgot who javier bardem is supposed to be i think johnny depp is supposed to be the invisible man and obviously there's been talk about the rock being the wolf man so i don't know it'd be kind of interesting to see you know, obviously they'd be doing the like MCU thing where they'd be setting up these individual movies before they brought the universe together. I mean, not unless they kind of make a mistake, you know, like most people feel like the DCEU did when it tried to do too much at once. What the MCU built over a couple years, the DCEU kind of jumped into, which I once got my own conversation about that too, which I'm fine with, but I know a lot of people are like, Ugh, when it came to Batman v Superman, you know, every, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I went out of it very positively, but I know a lot of people didn't, so. Like I said, I'm very hopeful for this situation because I think it's so interesting building a universe like that. Like I said, because currently, like I said, the only two is like Marvel and DC. So it'd be kind of interesting to see what other people are able to make, or you know, like what kind of universe is able to build and create. It's just, it's just very fascinating to me. My question to you is, what do you think about the Dooku? Are you excited for it? Do you not care about it? You know, does it seem interesting to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about in this video. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, a little like to the fullest and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.